And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Dog four. Go. Looks for his tight end over the middle. He's to the 40. And they make the stop at the 49. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver. And the result, again, a nice play for the offense. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. tackled at the 38-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. And it's caught. He's at the 20. Tackle made at the 15-yard line. From the 15 yard line. First down. Hey, we got Mike T right here, guys. Mike T. Here we go, here we go, here we go. They get with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. Loss of two by the halfback. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Mike 10, Mike 10. Here we go, here we go. Hand off, and he's met immediately. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll make it third and 13. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 19. The five. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That's good enough for another Oregon State. First down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. gets it through the air. Yeah, they've had some success in their short passing game, so they felt confident they could make that play work down inside the 10. And he tacks on the extra point. An eight-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Oregon State gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Washington's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just get him back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. He scrambled. Tackle at the 46-yard line. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. That makes it first and 10. Let's see what you got. Check, 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 check. He's tackled at the 
48 yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. He's pushed out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Not every offense uses their tight ends very effectively, but when they do, it can be a nightmare for a defense. He makes his way to about the 22. A gain of eight on the carry. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Come on. Check, check 43. He gets hit out of bounds around the 15-yard line. Game of seven on the play. First down. Check it. He's taken down around the 12-yard line. of this drive. on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. They line up at the six. It's second down. Oregon State up seven points. That's a great tackle at the 19-yard line. They got to him before he could get back to the line. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 7-0, Oregon State. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. And he 
missed tackle right away. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Four down, four down. Tins the mic. Tins the mic. Go. Green nine, green nine. Go. Green 15. Back. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Fourth down. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. He's tackled the 39 yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. it off. Right down around the 38 yard line. That was just smash mouth helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. It's second and 12. Ball on the 38. Down. Right. Slings it and down he goes at the 49 yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. That'll bring, bring up third, third and inches. inches. And he throws it away. Well, the defense did all there. Boy, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. Booming kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Oregon State is up by a touchdown. It's out to his receiver in a hurry, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. So they go to the air and pick up six. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. They're about four yards away here on second down. Mike 10. Mike 10. Mike 10. And they make the stop around the 32 yard line. Quick throw. At about the 39 yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Green 15. Third down. From their own 44 yard line. First down. Green nine, green nine. Green nine. So the old counter gets two, maybe three yards. Oregon State's going to use their first time out of the half here. Oregon State is up seven. This is the eighth play of this drive. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Second down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. 
Flash 86. Tens Red two. Tens Green 15. Motion, 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 motion. motion. Hey. Oh. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. He's under pressure. He's wrapped up for the sack. That's a loss of seven yards. That'll make it second and long. We're at the one minute mark, first half. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike 10. Go. Green 9, Green 9. Let's go, Red 7. Go. Red seven. Go. Tackle around the 27 yard line. Oregon State's going to have to use their second time out of the hat. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. Number 24 was the intended receiver. It's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Oregon State can make this a two possession game with this field goal. It's up, looks long enough, and he nails the long field goal. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 10 0, Oregon State. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Washington's coaching staff, I've got to think, going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs is not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game, They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points on. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He makes the catch and has a first down. And he is drilled at the 40. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. The Beavers with a 10-point lead. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson, Oakland, Stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air, and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio with the best seat in the house. Belongs to Brad Nestler in Kirk Herb Street. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Beavers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football curve. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws complete. He's got room to work. 
And they push him out at about the 33-yard line. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. He's on the run. Makes it to the 44. Now he tries to buy some time. He keeps it. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. From the 42-yard line, second down. Set, hey. blue 14. Hey. Fires out to his wideout, and he hits him hard at the 30. Reception. Number 32 on the tackle at the 30-yard line. First down. And they got him. The protection broke down as the defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. And about the 25 yard line. Gain of nine yards. That'll make it 35. Down! Right Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He's taken down at the 17 yard line. Gain of eight yards. That makes it first and 10. They're back in the red zone where they have really struggled lately. Throws it in a hurry. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Number six on the tackle at the seven yard line. That brings up second and one. Set, They'll bring him down around the two yard line. Gain of five yard runs. That makes it first and goal. They bring him down in the backfield. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Has some daylight. Shows some moves and he's in. He made a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They looked like they practiced that one a few times. The draw within a field goal. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Oregon State holds a field goal lead. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and he's taken down at the 26. From their own 26 yard line. It's second down. He's going to air it long. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Number eight, the intended receiver right away. That'll make it 39. Mike 10. Mike 10. Mike 10.
Go for X7! Here we go, here we go! Go! go. Caught open field, out of bounds, right around the 28-yard line. That's a game of two on the way. That brings us fourth and seven. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. And this one is a beauty. And he's hammered down. You're always looking for the home run return, the big highlight. Didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple of yards. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Now, green nine. Hey, motion backfield, motion backfield. Back, back. And he just gets rid of it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 35. Down, Texas. Hey, hey. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that ball. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Knocked out of bounds at the 40-yard line. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. He's taken down at the 24. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Oregon State is up a field goal. Ready? 98, Weasel! Come on! Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Complete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. That brings us third and ten. Mike ten. Mike ten, Mike ten. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, hey kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five! Go Got it, but he's gonna lose yards here. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. And he's tackled at the 48 yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he's tackled right away. Going to go across the middle, caught. That'll make it second and four. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a gain of seven yards. First down. Throws complete. He's got space to work. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Seven. Oklahoma. One right and hit in the backfield. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Brought down right around the 20. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. Check, check. Blue 14! 
And down he goes around the 17 yard line. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. The Beavers with a three point lead. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Set. He goes out of bounds at the 13. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. Kicks away. And they tack on three points. And with that field goal, we are all tied up. Yeah, well, that was a clutch field goal without a doubt. Washington ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Taken down in the backfield. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. They don't want none of this. That makes it second and ten. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 25. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Go, go. Zips it to the back. And they make the stop around the 24-yard line. into the halfback on the screen. He steps out at about the 29-yard line. Gain of five on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. Oh, excellent punt. Across midfield, he's knocked out of bounds at the 49. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Hot, set, hot. And he's tackled at the 44-yard line. Number six, Number six makes the tackle at the 44-yard line. line. That brings him second and five. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Just under three to go in regulation. Somebody jumped early down there. False start. Offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're Still in a third, third down, down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Set, Sam, 10, 19, hey. Tackle made around the 39-yard line. but ended up getting sacked. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. 
throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second and 10. Ball on their own 45. There's a play fake. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. Scrambling around. Now he's going to run and watch out. Tackle the 25 yard line. the 25 yard line it's first down just over two minutes in the game straight run here and he's got nowhere to go Loss of one yard on the play. that'll bring up second and 11. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Well, the player of the game might come from the defense after that stop here late in the fourth quarter. That could be the turning point. Kick is up, and it is good. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Huskies coaching staff and the entire team knows that this is the guy that can win it for. Them. The offense has to find a way to get the football into the hands of this running back, whether it's a, a simple toss sweep or maybe a ball out of the backfield where he can catch it in space. Any way that they can get the football to him to see if he can spring one to maybe get the field goal range or who knows, maybe take it to the house. Slings it. Steps out of bounds at the 31. That's a gain of six on the play. They're about four forward. yards away here on second down. Set, Texas! Hut! 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 Caught with room to work. Check, check! Just over a minute left. Hey, hey. He's wrapped up for the sack. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. That's a great tackle at midfield. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Tackles him hard at the 44. The Huskies are going to call their second timeout. From the 44-yard line, first down. He gets hit out of bounds at the 33. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Stops the clock with a spike. That makes it third and seven. And here's another third down. Here's the halfback on the screen. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game.
The kick is up, and he got it. Washington kicked this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. The worst thing that should happen for the offense now is that the game will go into overtime. If they can make a couple of plays, then maybe they'll pull it out in regulation. Blue 19, right. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go! And that one's incomplete. Wow, Brad, you talk about having a strong arm. Next time, though, he might want to work on the accuracy. Red two, green 15. Got a man tackled for a loss. Five-yard loss on the play. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's to the 40, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. That'll do it for regulation, and we are going to settle this one in overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. Tie right, tie right. Pull down, pull down. Tins the mic. Tins the mic. Red two, blue four, blue four. Run play, and he'll lose yards. No game on the play. That makes it second. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Taken down at the 22. Third down. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. Red two. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. It's first down, and he'll be looking for six points here. So here we go. It's third and goal from the four, and this would break the tie. Mike 10. Mike 10. Mike 10. Red two. Caught end zone for the touchdown. Well, this is what it's all about in college football. I score. Now we'll see if you can respond. Great teams always find a way to come through. He makes the PAT. From the 25 yard line, first down. Intercepted. They'll spread the field with five wide. 
He's got it out to his tight end. And that sets them up with a first and goal. Number 25 on the tackle at the four-yard line. That makes it first and goal. He's tackled around the two-yard line. They're at the two. Second down. Pressure coming. And he's taken down at the two-yard line. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. We've got a dandy here, folks. We're heading to overtime number two. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Jack, Jack. Regular, regular, regular. He's in trouble, and he can't get away from the pressure. It's second and long. Ball on the 34-yard line. He's got the corner. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. That brings up third and 14. You know, at that point, I think grab the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. It's up, looks long enough, and he nails the long field goal. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Ten the mic. Ten the mic. Here we go. Green 19. Green 19. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's on the run. Slides down. About eight yards there on the scramble. So it's second down and about two yards to go. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. exactly what they had to do here to win this football game and they went out and did it it's been a battle the entire game and i don't think there's any doubt that these guys completely deserve this w that's going to do it for this one our final score oregon state 26 washington 23 kurt go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game this is exactly what we expected isn't it two very closely matched teams and a full game wasn't even enough to decide this game they had to persevere a lot to prevail. Oregon State had their work cut out for them today, but they were up against a team very similar to them in a lot of ways. And those are always the toughest matchups. It took a lot to get this victory. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.